going on guys Alex here and welcome back to the channel and today we are back with the MX-5 so this one's been a long time coming some of you who have watched since I've bought it I've had some issues with the brakes when I first got them they're basically the discs and pads were all crusty this one actually seized uh, on my second ever drive with the car Obviously the wind decides to pick up now, hopefully it's not too noisy. I am testing out a new camera, so hopefully the camera quality is a lot better as I know there were some issues with the previous camera with video being shaky. I'm not set up the nice mics just yet, but this is all it takes. But yes, let's not get distracted. Today is break day. So bought the car back in September, found the issues pretty much straight away. Bought the discs, bought the pads, all upgraded stuff, which I'll show you in a little bit. But one of the rear calipers was just delayed for some reason, and just delayed, 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 and then just there wasn't an ETA on it, so I ended up getting a different rear caliper that's basically the exact same thing anyway. So they have arrived, they've all been painted by Sam, uh, so i leave his details down below, he does all my paint work. He's, he's been used on the channel many times. But uh, yeah, so now is the time to get this inside, get the brakes all set up, and show you what is going on with the car. And we'll finally have a nice braking car. All right, this is what we're going to be fitting today. So this is the front caliper setup, rear caliper setup. So I've gone for the IL Mod Sport four pots, got some new lines, Got some EBC discs, cork pads. Oh, have a look in there. You can see the pots, and I assume that's going to be cooling related. So, as I mentioned, Sam's painted these for us, and he's done an amazing job as always. Got RBF 600 motor fluid, so we're going to be flushing out everything that's in here, and at least that way we know what's inside. Rear calipers, they're more of a standard setup, just brand new, because again, these are 30 year old and looking definitely worse for wear. Again, EBC discs, EBC pads for the rear, and of course the brake bleeder. So that's going to make our life so much easier. So it's pressurized. It'll just help with bleeding all the new fluid throughout the system a lot quicker and easier. So, car is up in the air, wheels are off. Just wait for the boys to turn up and then we can crack on. All right, so working on the rears first. Calipers are off, handbrake cable is released. Disc. Probably gonna need a little bit more of work. Just to put you down. Oh, that wasn't too bad. To be fair, this disc is a lot more efficient than that one. Yeah, this is the one that's Yeah, alright, so just to show you, this is the driver's side rear inside. Whereas if we go around to the passenger one. That's the inner side from the disc. As you can see, it is doing nothing. <laughs> so not this side's all off, caliper's off. To be fair, don't want to jinx myself, but seems to be going fairly smooth for now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, ceramic grease on the hub, so that it just makes life a lot easier going down the line. So I've got brand new dust shields as well, but they require the bearing to come off. So we're going to be doing that when we do the overhaul of all the underneath. There's, there's no real gain of changing them right now. It'd just be nicer looking, but again, we're going to be sorting out all this rusty crustiness. So that can all be done together then. And it's all new all at the same time. <laughs> oh, stop at the 
12 on it from the arm. You want a 14? Yeah. All these sockets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> While he's doing that, here's the caliper, and of course we've got the handbrake mounting point. Extremely effective one pop. So I've got all brand new banjo bolts, washers, all sorts. So these are the brand new bolts with dust shields, but again, they're not being fitted right now. I don't even remember where I've put them. Ah, there they are. Um, so yeah, I just thought, spend a little bit more money, get all new everything that way, sort of a bit more safer and secure and again for the front. It's, it's just, again, that little bit of peace of mind stuff, knowing that everything that's going on in the car is fresh, it's new. In theory, it should be better than 30 year old uh, hardware. What did he say? <laughs> I think that literally just started as you did it. Go again, just greasing everything up because oh, sliding pin needs grip of that finger work. <laughs> Those dust boots do not like being on, do they? No, they, they, they literally just you look at them and they fall off. Yeah, literally. Try not to scratch your lovely no gold caliper. <laughs> All the bling bling. Alright, that's, that's definitely, definitely smoother than uh, the, the old one. setup. So I asked earlier if, if that piston was all the way in. Yeah. Is it not? It's, it's tight. But it, I think it is. It's just obviously brand new everything, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose, yeah, it's brand new disc, brand new pad, uh, so it's going to be... Trying to think when to grease that up, but we'll get that on there. Oh, do you know what I've done? What? Ah. Let's put that in. MW Springs. They give you a... Sp oh, no, they didn't. I thought there was a third one in there, like... <laughs> <laughs> they know it's going to ping across the workshop. Here's another one for your troubles. I reckon... Uh, brakes are on. Right, that, that's what we think. So if, if anyone watching knows why the rear lights are on, yeah. the brake pedal is depressed. Yeah, it's a so brake pedal. But that, that's the only thing we could think of. Without so. ignition. Yeah. Without ignition. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, there's no, no I keys. Think it's just old. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's I was about to say, you're killing your battery. Ah, uh, Beery. Yeah, so it's not like it's a Forgotten how these go in there. I can't even show you on the other one because I just I then ejected know. and then left the chat. <laughs> I think it hooks in like that. That sounded good. What did you just stand on? Brake caliper. Uh, brake uh, break cleaner. I just see a little bit of gold paint flake off, so that's yeah. always good. <laughs> oh, that was it. No, because then. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, or not. <laughs> Thought that was in, but... These ones don't seem like the other ones. But... This is the most awkward thing. If I let go of the pads, they're just going to end gonna up... Go. They're going to end up in the soup. Good soup. I had it a second ago and it was like, oh, that was really easy. Now it's like, see you this time. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Just see you. Do you know what? I'm going to try and put them on after I put the caliper on, is what I've decided. Yes. Struggled a bit with this one because the handbrake cable is sketchy and that's probably why it was stuck on. It is the sketchy handbrake cable. So, but. Rears are all done, all fairly fitted, fronts are now being prepared, calipers are mounted, just the pads to go in. 
and I should pretty much be at the point where no nope, Sam's disappeared. So yeah, so almost at a point of uh, bleeding everything. So that's good. So we are reusing the braided lines that were on the car. So did have new ones to put on, but um, come here. That bolt is a bit seized, so didn't want to risk snapping like the actual brake line. So we're going to leave that for now. And then when we do the full underneath refresh of everything on the car, we will just redo all all the brake lines as I've seen. Yeah, like the um, both we do a kit for replacing all of them with copper lines and all sorts. So when we get around to uh, tackling that monstrous disaster of a car, um, then yeah, that, that will be replaced with fresh, new, nice stuff, hopefully. So we're now going to bleed the brakes. Tiny little problem, I bought this pressurized uh, brake, uh, brake bleeding system, which we've used in the past on like Clio and stuff. Um, except the adapter is too small for the MX-5 one, so we are doing this the old school way. So Sam's going to check the level, Bar's going to pump the brakes, and I here am going to uh, look after the bleed nipple. And yeah, so we're going to do this the, uh, the old school way, so furthest from the, ma the master cylinder, and then work our way. So rear left, rear right, front left, front right. And uh, yeah, this should be fun doing it the old school way. But it is a 30 year old car, so stuff like that's to be expected, I'd imagine. Happiest chap. <laughs> Doing it the old school way. <laughs> oh, we got it, didn't we? Oh, that, that coating's gone everywhere on that disc. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not the coating, it's paint, isn't it? Yeah. What you've basically done, well, what's basically done is put a solvent on it and just spread it around for fun. Yes. <laughs> Minor issues. Open. Low. Closed. Yeah. Yep. later all right so the car is now back outside we've um, done a little bit of running up and down the road just to see if there's any issues so this one was binding a little bit but it seems that driving has um, sorted it out uh, a little bit because again at the end of the day it's brand new discs brand new pads so there's a lot of thickness and um, yeah so it's just gonna be a case of actually using the car the front however the pads look like they're going to be quite dusty <laughs> so um, i'm going to keep an eye on that as you can see here the the, the wheels were kind of cleanish and obviously the uh, calipers are already no longer very gold in comparison to the rears like the, the rears they've, they've not really done much dust but yeah uh, Overall, it's it's all good. There is a little bit of like um, pedal travel, uh, so when you brake, it's a case of like just moving nothing, 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 and then all of a sudden they lock up. But again, uh, just going up and down the road a couple of times, just starting to bed them in, the pedal feels already but getting it a lot better. So yeah, I reckon it's just going to be a case of just using it for a little bit. So put some miles on it bed through the pad, pads, bed through the discs, because obviously everything is all fresh, everything is all brand spanking new, so it's gonna take a little bit of uh, 
a little bit of work, but um, yeah, so that's it for, for this video. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. I will do a follow up video on the brakes. Telling you, these seagulls just decided to squawk like at the worst times, but yeah, I will do a follow up video on on the brakes once they're all bedded in, what they're like, because obviously now the rears are still basically, like I mentioned, very standard spec, but they're brand new, so don't have to worry about that. Whereas the fronts are now four pots rather than just a single pot, so they should, in theory, be a lot better. And from, from the little testing we've done, like it, it does just stop. Can you really? Can you shut up? No, okay. But, yeah, so the next video on this, uh, probably going to be installing the front uh, jacking bar, which I've now got back, powder coated, all that kind of good stuff. Starting to buy up all the stuff for the underneath, so again, that's going to be... Uh, I've got like subframes and stuff like that that I need to go and send to get powder coated. You start buying like the arms, the exhausts, all of those bits, various bolts, various hardware and just sourcing everything all together so that we can sort of like do it all in one go. Well, that's the plan. Uh, I'm kind of uh, hoping that it works out quite nicely, but uh, only time will tell. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to drop the video a like. Let me know down below what, what you guys want to see me do. And as always, if you've got any suggestions or recommendations, let me know. And yeah, make sure to subscribe as there is plenty more coming with this. Clio, as you can see, is still here, so I just need to decide whether to try and sell it or whether to put it somewhere, storage, and uh, just keep it as having a track day car. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.